My friends, it doesn't matter if you're in the United States, England, Germany, Japan, areas of Africa, South America, it doesn't matter. We are all in the same boat together. The private banking cartel, six major super banks, have created Ponzi schemes. They have sold over 1.5 quadrillion, that's 1,500 trillion dollars of fraudulent derivatives, counterfeit instruments, financial instruments of fraud. The IMF and World Bank are their international holding companies. Regionally, we have the private central bank of the U.S., the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England over in England. Uh, we have the private central bank in Ireland. It's the same everywhere, except for a few, quote, rogue nations that aren't controlled by this cartel. And those are countries being menaced uh, by the globalist military. They are engineering the total collapse of society. I've been talking about this for 11 years since they got rid of the Glass-Steagall Act here in the U.S. and simultaneously in other nations got laws passed so they could do this and get away with it. On the way up, with the thousands of trillions that they manufactured out of nothing, they bought up the entire infrastructure, the media, the defense contractors, everything. On the way down, they hold populations hostage and say, give us trillions more or we will implode the economy. That's what happened over two years ago in October of 2008 when Henry Paulson, the Secretary of the Treasury, went and told the House and Senate, there'll be martial law, blood in the streets, total collapse if you don't do what we want. Here we are two years later. Europe gave in. Japan gave in. The United States gave in. And now you see Ireland, you see Greece, you see Portugal, Spain, Germany on the edge of collapse. And what do the central bankers say? Give us trillions more raise your taxes in your countries, cut benefits, and pay almost everything that you raise in taxes to us. But it's mathematically impossible. Listen to me. I've interviewed literally hundreds of top economists on this. This is a fact. It is mathematically impossible to ever pay back the 1.5 quadrillion. That's a conservative number. They know that. And so... Look at Ireland. Just a few months ago, they entered the EU. They were told, oh, you're a great economy. It's so wonderful. But under the EU agreement, they're now under the control of those private banks. And suddenly, oh, my gosh, your economy's over. You've got to pay 20% of your GDP uh, on top of what you're already paying to offshore banks. Uh, the head of their private central bank told the BBC that we want foreign banks to own Ireland. This is a good thing. Irish banks are up for sale. We're going to cut your pension funds that the government forced you to pay in for decades. We're going to cut the veterans' care. Uh, we're going to, again, slash road repairs, you name it, but the taxes go up. Everything goes to the private bankers. That's austerity. They cut the budget for the population. See, first they get you dependent on government. This is their system. They grow government. And this has happened all over the world over and over again. The globalists are done gobbling up third world countries. They're moving on to Europe and the United States now. No one is safe. Australia, Canada, you name it. The same system is taking place. That's how we knew what they would do in the West because we'd seen them do it in the third world. We saw the economic hitmen setting up the same system. This is such important information. And I hope you're listening to me. There is no light at the end of the tunnel unless we do not pay these bankers all of this fraudulent debt they've manufactured. If we don't throw these private central banks out of our countries, if we don't return sound monetary policy controlled by our Congress and parliaments, this is designed to implode economies and transfer all wealth to them. That's why whether it's Europe or the United States, or any other country or region they control, the central banks and the private banks are making record profits in the trillions, billions in individual bonuses in many cases. They know what they're doing. This is a consolidation of power and control. They're slashing police locally. They're slashing basic services, but the taxes go up because everything is going to them. Now remember, the United States is about a year behind Europe. And in Europe, in the last year, they have been slashing police, cutting roads, raising literally, in some countries, hundreds of new taxes per nation. 
they have been squeezing the population. They have been turning paramilitary tax collectors loose on people. They've been getting rid of all the tax exemptions. They are squeezing and squeezing and squeezing like the sheriff of Nottingham uh, from the uh, you know, fables of England uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago uh, with Robin Hood and his merry men. This is actually happening to us. And so the media is spinning this in Europe and here in the U.S. saying, oh, look at good conservative politicians. They are slashing infrastructure spending. They're slashing pensions. They're, they're slashing veterans benefits. Aren't they great? They'll get us out of this problem. That's a tiny piece. The whole U.S. debt is $14 trillion. There's 1.5 quadrillion worldwide, and even the Washington Post estimates the U.S.'s share of that is six hundred trillion. It's impossible. They could devalue the money like this was Zimbabwe or Weimar Republic uh, Germany in the 1920s and 30s, and it's impossible. Do you understand? All the solutions they give you are only to consolidate power. It's economic warfare. So Europe on average is about a year ahead of us. And you watch, as we told you in my film Obama Deception a year and a half ago, it would start in Greece and then Ireland and then Portugal and in Spain. That's what the economists we interviewed said would happen. It would then move to England and Germany and France. Now it is. It would then travel to the United States. This is all engineered. I cannot stress that enough to you. And that they would cut veterans benefits, that they'd signed on and were guaranteed basic health care, that they would federalize your private pensions and tax them and reduce them in the name of saving them because the pensions are invested in the derivatives fraud. That's the trap. They hold you hostage. They get you to invest in uh, their derivatives, your county, your city, your police pension, your federal pension, and then that money's not there. Oh, if you want to get that pension, you've got to bail out the banks. But it's not a bailout. They set this up. And so now it's here. Uh, just this week, White House official, Obama to freeze pay of federal workers. Notice all the news in the last week about how, oh, he doubled the amount of federal workers getting 150000 Oh, about how great they're having it. That's to sell them as the main scapegoat. I'm not against cutting their pay. I'm not against freezing their pay. But you do it after you've arrested the central bank heads. You do it after you've written off the 1.5 quadrillion that's impossible to pay off. You do it after you brought a true monetary system into existence. But you wouldn't have to do that with all these cuts if you got rid of this corrupt fractional reserve banking system. I do want to cut government because it's used as an agent of tyranny. It was put in place and grown to suppress us during this implosion phase, during this shearing phase, the shearing of the sheep. So now they've announced that they're going to freeze the pay of federal workers for two years and then probably cut it. Uh, Bloomberg, of course, has reported that over a year ago that pension funds are being ordered, private pension funds, to, quote, invest in failed megabanks. There's no law, but federal regulators come like the mafia and say, you better do it. It's come out in the last few months, also in AP and Bloomberg, that 11 years ago, a secret deal was signed by Prudential and other major insurance companies with the VA to allow them to steal all of the death benefits that, 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 that troops pay out of their check for if they die in battle or after they die so their widow or widower gets the money. That was all just stolen. This is the greatest swindle and the most brazen I've ever seen studying history. It is so off the charts because the average American only cares about sports or rioting and looting, you know, during Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, to get their little slave goods. Now, this is key. Remember the article from March 21st, 2009 in Stars and Stripes over a year ago. And in it, Obama proposed that they make all military people buy their own insurance for combat-related injuries. They've signed a contract guaranteed if they get their arms and legs blown off, Uncle Sam and the taxpayer is going to pay for it. Veterans of Foreign Wars, veterans organization, went wild, got angry, said no to this plan, and Obama backed off for a year. Now they're back, and in the New York Times, pitching it to you like it's a great thing. And they're announcing, hey, there's 2 million people that are on uh, government paid for insurance because they're veterans. The government wants to take that away. Take the health care completely away from the veterans. It continues. Here's the Wall Street Journal. Union drops health coverage for workers. Uh, it's a union in New York, and they're dropping coverage for the children of the workers. This is austerity. You pay into these pensions. You pay into these unions. You go and join the military. You do everything 
and they're even cutting it from those groups. If they'll go after the veterans, they'll go after anybody. Under austerity that's been done in hundreds of countries over and over again in just the last 20 years, we know what the private central banks are going to do. And once the country fully is bankrupt, whether you're Ireland or the U.S., it doesn't matter. It's the same formula. They are going to shut everything down. And once the economy fully disintegrates, they're going to triple water, triple power prices. They're going to force the government to hand all these infrastructures over to them. They are going to completely sell out the nation even further. You think the communist Chinese run the Panama Canal and most of our former military ports on our east and west coast? You think that's bad? You think the Arabs... You know, owning so much of our infrastructure is bad. You think foreign banks you know, coming in here with a fire cell, buying up our companies is bad and our highways? You ain't seen nothing yet. Austerity is total enslavement, economic bondage for you and your family. And it's all a fraud. The mega banks engineer it. They get tens of trillions of dollars of tax money. They implode the economy and demand even more because we're held hostage by them. And it's not even a solution. It's only going to get worse. It is a distraction to cut the veterans' health care. It is a distraction to steal people's pension funds. It is pure robbery. We must kick this system out. We must bring these bankers to justice and write off this fraudulent debt. We do not owe it. But the banks in the last hundred years in the West have openly fostered this system of getting us into debt so they could profit on the fiat loans they make up out of nothing. But we're now entering the end game where they're fully imploding us by design. It's the bankers or us. We don't have a choice. You've got to tell everyone you know about this. You've got to inform them so they understand. You know, I mentioned these earlier, but again, here it is, BBC News, Irish Republic banks for sale. And they've got the head of their private central bank that runs the country, this fourth branch of government, uh, Patrick Hunahan, uh, openly saying that the International Monetary Fund will now save Ireland. And how will they do that? By slashing pensions, by cutting police, by cheating veterans in their health care. It's, it's the same laundry list. It always is. And he goes on to say, I've been an advocate for many years of the value for small countries to have foreign owners for their banks. Did you just hear me? This is treason. It's the same thing here. This is a global government, a private corporate global government, taking over every major society with the same formula. It is fraudulent, and it must be resisted or we have no future. We cannot allow this new dark age to begin. These central banks openly wage war against the real economy. They openly are the biggest funders, Goldman Sachs and others, of the fake environmental movement to shut off our energy. They are waging war against the real economy. They want an austerity, a neo-feudalistic serfdom to control you and your family. So you're so poor, you can't resist them. This is their answer to the Renaissance. This is their answer to human liberty, is this modern form of mercantilism that's meant to consolidate power. Austerity is here. And it's going to get worse and worse. There's no way out but identifying these people, taking our country back, and bringing them to justice. Brazil and a few other countries have successfully thrown them out. We can do it here, and the United States can then become the light of liberty worldwide again. Or, as I said, we're all screwed. You have been warned, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's up to you to take action. The ball is in your court. This is one of the most important videos we've ever produced. Please get it out to everybody you know. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.